Welcome to Cafe Allegro, located at 4214 University Way Northeast, Seattle's oldest espresso bar, having been in existence since 1975. Both students and residents alike come to Cafe Allegro for caffeine, namely, as well as lunch, snacks, community, and last but not least, music and poetry. In the alley upstairs room, located directly behind Magis Books, Cafe Allegro hosts a Friday night music series and also a community run You Speak Seattle open mic. We got an open mic that happens every third Sunday right here. Woo! And you can do whatever you want. It's totally open for five minutes. All we can ask is that you can try and not offend people, but you know, sometimes it happens. So, you know, <laughs> just try and be considerate. That's all. That's all we can ask. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna call the, the bus victims of the mic. So please stop falling. Do you have a mic at Cafe Lego like, okay. is cool. It's very open. There's uh, People are very accepting no matter what you do. No matter where you are as like your progress as a writer, your progress as a reader, um, as a musician, you pretty much will always be welcome there and people will embrace you in a good sense. The mic's probably always going to be there just because of the attitude people have towards it. And so it's just something that's very reliable and that's a good thing. At Cafe Allegro, everyone's very reactive. When you're performing, if they like something, they will yell, they go like, Chippa like, woo! And there's also like, they go, bok, 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 and that like breeds this whole community thing of like, everyone's in this together, letting go of that wall of, oh no, there's people watching me. So the yelling helps with that. God said, and you keep up your press. They're mocking you now, but they will call you blessed. You'll glorify yeah. God. If you blessed, then the praise he deserves, then you will attest. Yeah. The Lord is the one who gave you your success. Yeah. That his word alone is what brought you through. Yes. Yeah. The open mic is great because it presents a lot of opportunities. My my goal above anything is to reach a lot of people and to reach a lot of women who need my poetry, and that happens every month. You know, I, I get to talk to, I get to meet new people and new women, and I get to hear about them and their experiences, and that's so powerful. And I get that every single month, and it also presents me with a lot of opportunities to work with different people and to perform in different spaces. It's really great. It's opened up so many opportunities for me. I'm so appreciative of it. Without the open mic at Cafe Allegro, I don't know where I'd be. Poetry honestly, really, truly has saved my life. I don't know how I would have overcame my hardships and my struggles. I don't like to think about it. Literacy is such a, is such a right that all people should have. Everybody has the, should have the right to be able to express themselves with words. So I get so caught up in my own head thinking about the impact that poetry has had on my life because it's just like I can't even begin to explain. I can't even begin to explain. I just go off into my own world <laughs> with it. Tired of bits, suppress my appetite. We'll go about it with my crew after work. Yeah, that is life. For now, it'll have to work. Seattle Light. Yeah! <laughs> expression we come together there's a cipher of knowledge people express themselves their ideas we come together uh, people consider it take it with a grain of salt take it for a whole religion take it on it's just it's very important to communicate community community yes. one to get involved in the open mic at cafe allegro simply show up on the third sunday of each month at 7 p.m and put your name on the list at the front of the alley upstairs room you can also visit http dot dot slash slash seattleallegro dot com slash events slash for all events hosted by Cafe Allegro.